We are fixing to get absolutely pounded, it looks like, in about 10 or 15 minutes, which is crazy because it seems absolutely perfectly calm out here right now. But the weather radar is calling for significant two inch or bigger hail. And it's literally, literally coming right for us. We have never had a storm track like this before since we've lived here in three and a half years. Uh, so we're throwing the car in the greenhouse. Honestly though, if this is as bad as they're saying it is, I don't even think the greenhouse will withstand it. I bet the hail will go right through the greenhouse. I just want to give us at least a little bit of pr protection in case it doesn't get that bad. I don't know. I, I'm, this is the first time I've actually been somewhat, oh gosh, these bugs, somewhat nervous about a storm like this. The weather prediction is pretty serious about it. Calm before the storm. Dead calm. Dead calm before the storm. They'll go in. As soon as that... I think that's hail. You can hear hail already starting to fall. Luckily, there's no tornado warning or anything. I mean, I'll move it a little bit, but I would say we're getting a little bit of rain. Can y'all see that? It's been raining for about two minutes. We're going to have rivers to deal with in our yard after this, but at least it's not flooding the house anymore. Welcome to Mud Ranch, previously known as the Eldridge Family Farm, is now the Eldridge Mud Farm. We got a lot of rain last night. Well, not quite a lot, but Every we got enough today. to make everything muddy. And today. And today? Yeah. Today it's been raining? A yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a muddy mess out here. Today I'm going to take you guys around, give you an update on all of the projects and everything that we have going on. This rain has kind of put a damper on things, but it's also filled up some things. So I will be showing you guys our pond level, showing you where it's at, and kind of giving you a rundown of where we are at with everything we got going on, as well as, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do about this mud, but it's thick and sticky. I'm excited to announce that we have some water in the pond. I don't know how much, maybe I'll try and walk down there. Maverick, you stay up here, okay? Let's go see how much water we got in the pond. Whoa! <laughs> I ice skated. Oh my goodness. No, you stay over there. The mud's too thick. It's too deep, okay? So we did get some rain. We got about three quarters of an inch. Wow, that's like rock solid clay bottom. That's what we want. I don't know how much water is over here. I also don't know what's floating in here. What is that? Oh, it's just like pieces of bark. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I'm getting wet. So there is about four inches of mud and then you hit hard clay. Oh my gosh. All right, well, that was fun while it lasted. The uh, pond is filling up very excited about that it's been a long time coming i think all of this has got filled in because as you can see we had a river roaring down through here we must have last night that just came through and washed all of that silt into the pond right here silted it up a little bit which is okay we got a lot of room to go it's actually going to take a lot longer to fill up than i thought it was i thought if we got a good uh, three inches of rain it would fill up which it may yeah. But I don't know. That was about three quarters of an inch. So it just seems like if we got three times that much, it still wouldn't be enough. But it may be. Yeah, good thing I don't have to get the skid steer in here. And good thing I put those branches in yesterday because, uh, yeah, there's no way we'd be getting that in there. So right here, it's about three and a half, four feet deep. So I definitely will not be walking over there because I would never get out. For those of you that may be new here, this is our backyard pond build. We built this over the last couple of weeks, and this is the first rainstorm that we have had since then to kind of fill it up. Before this, it was completely bone dry, so I am excited to see some water in here. Uh, we do 
need to mark in here the water level so that we know how fast it's draining. Well, I guess it's not going to raise, but how fast it's draining and, you know, kind of keep track of it in that way to make sure the pond is actually going to hold water. This pool has held water since I filled it up like two weeks ago. Um, and we obviously got some more rain, so it filled up a little bit more, but it did hold. So I'm hoping if this holds that the rest of this is going to hold. Fingers crossed. So that's a quick little pond update for y'all. There's water in it. We're supposed to get another inch of rain. So we'll see what that does to this uh, in the next 24 hours. But for right now, that's as full as it is. And I'm carrying half the pond with me. We already fed you guys today, but maybe we'll give you a little snack. <laughs> this is Waffles, Domino, Georgia, Carolina, Coda, Cali, Stormy, and Troop. Our Nigerian dwarf goats, our pig and turkey. How are all y'all doing, huh? We're about ready for another treatment of lice for you. So, or not lice, fleas. We've been having flea issues, so we've been working and getting that cleared up for the goats. It seems to be working. They're not definitely not as irritated as they have been, uh, but we're trying to stay on top of that, get that taken care of. Looks like we got another pond I didn't even plan on building. Come over here. Come look at this other pond. I didn't even know we had this other pond. So this is where we have been getting a bunch of our topsoil and stuff like that for the rest of the yard. Originally the pond, hold on buddy. Originally the pond was gonna come and be this whole area was gonna be pond as well. But then we uh, ended up digging here and finding a massive amount of water and stuff uh, just down two feet deep. And so there was no way that I could actually uh, come in and get that out without sinking the skid steer to the bottom. So we opted to just leave the pond the size that it is now. This will probably dry up pretty quick because it is just straight sand underneath us. Now the ground is completely saturated um, with the rain that we had earlier this spring and then up till now. Wow, this has actually got a hard bottom on it. I'm surprised. What is this? Dirt bike truck. So we have another one over here, another one over there. So, what are you gonna do with it? I, I jump and then come right here. On your dirt bike? Yeah. Wow, that's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. You pretty excited about that? Yeah, we should walk up there. Okay, let's go walk up one of your jumps. So, this is the future Eldridge MX motocross oh. track. Oh, cool. Did you guys hear him? Oh, it's so muddy. That was cute, Mammy. What do you got on your arms? Stickers. Stickers. <laughs> so this is the home of the future Eldridge Motocross track. Oh my gosh, it is muddy. How did you even climb up that? I don't think I can climb up it. That's slippery. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to make it. Woo! I made it. No. Now you can ice skate down. Do it. Go like this. Ready? Whee! <laughs> Why not? Try it. This is going to be good. Come on, Mabby. You can do it. Slide on your feet. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here, turn around. Uh-oh. We're going to have to wash off before we go inside, don't you think? Yeah. Was that fun? Mm -hmm. You got dirt all over your butt. <laughs> Here, come wipe your hand in the grass. So, like I was saying... We're going to build a little motocross track here. It's going to be for Maverick to practice on, me to ride on, have fun on. We've still got a big pile of dirt. This is all dirt that we excavated out of our front yard that uh, we've been using to build these jumps, berms, all of that kind of stuff. So that's going to be coming here as soon as stuff kind of dries out a little bit. Thankfully, you know, we do have, I think, another inch of rain in the forecast, but then we don't have much rain in the forecast after that. So I'm excited about that because it'll dry out and I'll be able to get this stuff done. 
But yeah, we are going to be getting this done, taken care of, getting all these jumps built and cleaned up. Marcy came out and weeded the garden. It's really windy, I need to try and block. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's so windy, y'all. So windy here in Oklahoma. Marcy's actually out here weeding the garden for the first time ever. It's our first garden. It's our second garden, third garden. But she's learning how to do the weeding. She's doing really good at it, I think. Have you pulled out any plants? No, I don't think so. Good job. So she's doing that. I am going to come through and till it. Yeah, that is a pea. Yeah, I figured you just accidentally dropped a seed while you were planting. Yeah, it's not great. So Marcy's working on this. Oh my gosh, okay, I had to get out of the wind there. I have been working on getting topsoil in the front yard. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to grow grass or anything in clay. It doesn't grow. So I've gone and put in roughly two to four inches of topsoil in the whole grass area that is going to be the front yard right here. It looks really good. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to build a drag. I found this chain when we were digging. So I've got a good chain that I'm going to hook to it. But we're going to get the lawnmower and build a contraption that I can drag over this whole thing to just kind of level it out. Work on it and get it all cleaned. Get it all prepped. Same with this area right here. For those of you that may not know, it's going to be grass, gravel, the driveway, and then grass again, and then grass up on the hill. So we're going to get all the grass areas prepped and hopefully get it seeded here quick. We have major ranger rainstorms coming, so I'm like trying to get this all done so that it can get rained, it can get soaked in, and then hopefully it will start growing, you know, by the end of next week. So that's kind of my uh, pressure point. That's what I'm like trying to get done, trying to get it in so that it's all done and taken care of. So let's go ahead. I'm going to build a drag, drag this out, see if I can get it smoother. Then we'll be ready to throw down some grass seed. She did a good job. I told her to leave everything in the middle because I'm just going to come through with a tiller and till everything. So it doesn't look quite complete. That's because it's not. We still got some work to do on it. But it uh, it definitely looks a lot better. She weeded in between all of the plants so that I can come through and do the weeding in, in all of the rows and stuff. The potato plants are doing amazing. For some reason, that half of the row did not grow. Don't know what the heck happened there. All the rest of it grew really good. Onions are looking good. And then we got peas. I'm a little bit behind on the peas. I need to put up a fence here so that they'll trellis. And I bet they'll take off as soon as I do that. So I may do that today or tomorrow, get those up off of the ground and get them growing. But the front yard is uh, pretty much complete. We haven't showed you guys much about it, except for the first video that we did where we ripped out the trees. We do need some more rock. We're getting some rock brought in here, hopefully in the next couple of days that will finish off the driveway. But let me show you guys what we did yesterday to get it all taken care of and cleaned up. What I leveled off and got ready for grass seed uh, kind of turned into some little ponds. So I've got some more leveling to do. I'm glad that I was able to get it all leveled, get the topsoil brought in, get the driveway and get it kind of roughly laid out because now I can come through and fill in the rest of the spots that need more dirt. Oh, he's gotta go get his dump truck. Oh, <laughs> y'all, this kid loves to get his toys stuck and then use his other toys to get his other toys unstuck. So that thing got four wheel drive? Yeah. Okay, good. You're going to need it. Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. Woo, good job. We have to get it out of the mud with this. Yeah. Rap, rap, rap. Woo, barely made it. What better activity is there to do than get in a track skidster that's basically like a tank and go drive through the mud? It's a good question. I don't think there is a better idea. I think we're gonna just have to do something like that. Well, there's two goals to this. One is to kind of pack down the driveway into the mud so that when we get our new rock, it's a little bit better. And part two is to just have fun playing in the mud. That's looking pretty good. I think we had an absolutely truckload more of this rock. Just soup. 
what you see in front of me is supposed to be uh, kind of like this, like green pasture with some claret clover and some wheat and stuff like that, but it has been completely overgrown with the thick bushes. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can clear out this entire trail right through here, all of these trees. We're gonna pile everything to burn it, but we're gonna just go through and clean this entire thing out. And y'all are gonna be riding shotgun as we bulldoze this thing with the skid steer. Kinda hard to film with one hand. I forgot my camera mount, so we're gonna just go like this. some progress i just saw something on the ground here and i was like what the heck is that we got us a baby rattlesnake i think baby timber rattler yep that's a baby timber rattlesnake y'all holy cow dead? yeah it's dead sure enough look at that little rattle on him Timber rattlesnake, y'all. Where there's one, there's gonna be a whole lot more. So we're gonna keep an eye out. Maybe that's the kind of snake that will really hurt you if you touch it. Okay? Or it's moving. Yeah, but it's dead. That's called a rattlesnake, okay? And rattlesnakes are poisonous, okay? Do we touch them? Nope. We definitely don't wanna touch those. Yeah, only good snakes. That's a bad snake. That kind of get you. Well, we probably, I mean, who knows how many other snakes and stuff we got rid of. I haven't seen any other sign of any type of wildlife or anything. This has been so thick, so heavy, so dark that there just hasn't been any. Thankfully, it's pretty sandy down here. Hasn't been muddy. Haven't even tried to get stuck. I mean, it's, I'm not even sinking. I've gotten a big area port cleaned. I've got a big portion cleaned. Got like half more to go. But I just wanted to stop and show you guys that timber rattlesnake. That's a small one. I, last year I saw one that was about four feet long and about that big around. So we're keeping our eye out for that one. Hopefully we run into it and we can dispose of it. So I just pushed down that huge section of the tree. We're gonna see if we can push down this other big section. This is all a dead tree that we obviously just wanna get rid of. Let's see. Oh, not quite. Oh, I don't know about that one, Mavi. I don't think that one's gonna fall over easy. This one did, though. You knocked down that tree. We did knock down that tree, huh? But that one's too big, so we didn't knock down that tree. Well, we'll have tree. to get a chainsaw for that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see this is a giant dead tree. You saw the one piece we pushed down. We got it pushed into the pile, but look at this. So this was completely overgrown. You could not see anything. This is coming from the opposite angle. We started over there. And now this is opened up and usable. We got rid of a rattlesnake or more than one, hard to tell. But look at this now. I am excited with how this looks. This gives us a whole lot more pasture space. Now it's probably gonna take a year to get this smoothed out, to come through here, brush hog it, you know, maintain it. But the more, as we maintain it, it's gonna then turn into great pasture, food plots, whatever we wanna do for either deer hunting or turkey hunting, or just running animals on it. So now that it's like this, we'll be able to let these piles dry out. We've got a couple piles behind us. We've got some more piles over here. And that will give us uh, some big bonfires next spring. I think I'll probably let them dry for a year and then burn them all uh, rather than trying to mess with them this year. It's obviously super green right now. But next thing we got to do on this big pasture is this other patch of trees behind me. So these are all invasive species. Wing down, uh, bodark, uh, not bodark. There's Osage Orange, Bodar, I don't know, I can't remember. But the wing down and the locust, honey locust, I think black locust tree, something like that. 
are invasive species here in Oklahoma. So we're going through and taking them out, getting rid of them on our property because they spread like weeds and they grow up in your pasture. This used to be a great looking pasture and now it's completely grown up with all of these crap trees. So that's kind of what we're doing here. We're doing these property maintenance. You guys have seen the videos of me pulling these out with the truck. And let's just say the skid steer works a whole lot better and I'm not ruining my truck. So we're going to get as much as we done can done with the skid steer while we have it to clear out these trees off of our property because it's going to save us a lot of time, money, and effort in the future. Thanks y'all for watching today's video. I'm going to get back to work and get some more stuff done, film some more videos for you guys, take you guys along as we transform this property into our dream property. We'll see y'all on the next video.